Okay, we got another unboxing plus to do today, and this time we're taking a look at a watch from Mundane. It's a really popular brand with actually a lot of heritage behind them as well. In this video, I will be unboxing the watch and giving you my first impressions. Okay, now that's a really cool, instantly familiar design. Um, I can see why so many people love these watches. I'll take the watch out and test it on the wrist for a few days. And then I'll come back at the end and give you guys my final conclusions on what I think of the watch. All right, the mundane Evo Big Day. What do I think about it? Um, well, I, I think I would consider this a fashion watch, but it's a very well-made fashion watch with a surprising amount of horological punch behind it. Now, Monday is one of the more popular brands out there because they have an officially licensed version of the Swiss Railways clock in a watch form. And they, they do a bunch of different versions uh, using this watch design. And it's a truly iconic, highly legible watch design. Now, Mundane contacted me and offered to give me a watch for free to do the review, and they basically said I could pick anything from their catalog. And as I was browsing through their site, they had a lot of watches uh, that were fairly expensive, but this is a budget watch channel, so I wanted to find one that I felt like was the best value in their collection. And the one I chose was the Evo 40 Big Date. For $275, you're getting a Swiss-made watch with a Swiss quartz movement and a sapphire crystal which is on the high end for those specs. You're definitely paying for the design and the style here. $275 is right around the upper limit of what I would typically be willing to pay for those specs. So that's kind of one of the main things I want to work out as we go through and unbox this and you know test it out. I want to see, is it really worth it at this $275 price point for what you're getting? Previously, when I've looked at Mundane's watches, I, you know, I really like the way they look, but I've always been hesitant about the price. So I think this is a good opportunity to check it out and see yeah, is this something worthwhile? Now, because Mundane did give me this watch for free in order to do the review, YouTube does consider this a paid promotions, which is why you saw the paid promotions flag at the beginning of the video. However, other than the watch itself, I did not receive any compensation from Mundane, nor did they have any input into the content of this review, and I will be giving you my honest opinion of the watch, including all the pros and cons that I found with it. All that said, let's unbox the watch and take a look at it. Okay, now I'm really not sure if this is the retail packaging or if this is reviewer packaging. I was really surprised when I saw this come in the mail. But let's see what we got. Okay, so this looks like a watch pouch, which is cool. You know, I, I would take this over a box. I kind of hate watch boxes because they just take up space. Let's go ahead and peel off the sticker real quick. And let's check the specs on the back here. Oh, we got one more sticker here. So yeah, made in Switzerland, sapphire crystal, and 30 meters of water resistance. Now, I mentioned this in the intro. The price is the big sticking point here. Is this watch worth it at the price that they're asking? And we'll try and focus on that more in a minute here. I picked this one because with the Sapphire Crystal, with the Swiss made at $275 asking point, I think it's, it's close. Okay. A lot of that money is definitely going to the design and the style of this watch. If you're purely going for specifications, you know, your $275 can probably go a lot further from other brands. But this is an incredibly iconic style and it is a very fashionable piece. This is the kind of watch that I think will pull a lot of people into the watch collecting hobby. It has an appeal that's going to go way beyond just the kind of watch nerds out there. But let's focus for a minute on what you're actually getting uh, in this watch. So this is the uh, Evo Big Date version. Uh, aptly named because you have a big date complication at 3 o'clock, which I think looks really cool. And I always like a date on my daily wear watches. Uh, getting this one with a sapphire crystal I think makes this one a good choice for a daily wear watch. Let's get the dimensions out of the way. Okay, so you're getting right on 40 millimeters across. A lug to lug of exactly 45 millimeters. And then 20 millimeter lug openings. And the watch is just under 10 millimeters thin. As mentioned, it has a flat sapphire crystal. And it's got this kind of rounded bowl shaped case that has some simple brushing going all the way around it with lugs that kind of uh, attach to it and come straight out. It comes down at a little bit of an angle there. 
This one is on a mesh bracelet. Uh, however, they also sell it on a leather strap. So the mesh bracelet that comes on is similar to many of the other ones that I've seen. Um, basically, you're going to pop a little screwdriver in there to lift up this flap, and that'll allow you to slide this latch around, which will determine how tight the watch will go on your wrist. So I'll do that in a minute here, but let's uh, let's get this off. Anyways, let's take a minute to appreciate that dial because this is you know really what you're paying for, and it is a really cool highly legible dial. If you've ever been to Switzerland and ridden the trains there, you'll see these clocks of this style everywhere. And it works really well as a watch too. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit on this dial and see what's going on more. So again, giant blocky hands there with the hour and minute. Minute hands super long. And then it looks like you've got a printed minute track, but then every five minutes those are applied markers there. They're very thin, so there's not a lot of depth there, but there is just a little bit, which kind of makes it visually interesting. Very clean, just with the Mondain logo, and then I, and I believe that's the Swiss Railway markings on there underneath it. I'm not totally sure. Really kind of cool signed crown with the Mondain logo, red crown, and again, kind of a bowl-shaped case with brushing all the way around. You are only getting 30 meters of water resistance with a press-on case back. Anyways, let's go ahead and throw it on wrist and see what it looks like. There it is on my seven and a half inch wrist and it wears very comfortably. It's a really great classic size. And again, I think that legibility and that kind of all dial design, but proportionally with those lugs kind of sticking out, I don't know, it looks pretty much perfect on my seven and a half inch wrist. I'm kind of curious about the date. So it's saying that it's the 34th. Um, so that's interesting. I imagine at the end of the month, you're gonna have a, a, some extra date changes there. Let's go ahead and check that. This is running a Swiss Ronda movement inside of it. So this is a Swiss made watch, one of the selling points, but yeah, it looks like, okay, so after 40, it resets back to one. It is a hacking movement. Yeah, look at that long sweep of the minute hand. It's really cool looking. Anyways, I'll go ahead and wear this one around for a couple of days and see how I feel about it. Maybe I'll do a little bit of research on the history of Mondain and this uh, style of watch. And then I'll come back in a minute here and tell you what I think about the price of this watch. Okay, so one of the things that people love about this watch is the watch face because this is the watch face used by the official Swiss Railways clock. And I've been doing just a little bit of research to kind of bone up on that a bit. Uh, it, it's, it's a cool history. It's a clock that the Swiss Railways uh, requested very specific design parameters around. And it's become something of a Swiss icon. It has a great blend of form and functionality. It's an incredibly legible clock face. Uh, you could see it from a great distance away and be able to easily tell the time. Uh, but they added kind of this little red paddle second hand that is just a really fun, kind of quirky feature that's meant to look like the baton that's used by train dispatch staff. And Mondain has been officially licensing that watch face since the 80s and producing this watch. Uh, so the Mondain brand is kind of uh, really closely tied to that Swiss Railways uh, clock design. So kind of cool to see a little bit of that horological tie-in because obviously, you know, when it comes to the history of timekeeping, uh, train schedules was one of the reasons you needed accurate clocks and accurate time. 
So when you think of watch faces or clocks that were designed with a purpose in mind, a historical purpose in mind, uh, railways and train related timepieces are kind of a cool segment of the horological spectrum. So one thing that's really impressed me about this is just how legible it is. I mean, I guess that's kind of the whole point of the original design, but I mean, it's crazy. I mean, you can probably read it from there, right? You guys can see what time it is. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if you have eye troubles and you're looking for a legible watch, it's definitely something that will be good there. And I think it's kind of cool that they paired a big date complication up. So that also is very legible date. So one of the most legible watches that I've tried. It's also just a really versatile watch. I mean, this morning we had uh, church this morning and I went to pick up a watch and I'm in the middle of testing a whole bunch of large dive watches. And so my watch box was filled up with those. Uh, and I needed something a little bit more slimmed down, a little bit dressy. And I saw this one in there and grabbed it. And yeah, it worked great. Uh, it's also quartz. So that's another plus for the whole grab and go kind of thing. I think you can really wear this watch with pretty much anything, either you know dress it up or wear it casually. Should have no problem. It's got kind of a lot going on for it, I think. All right, the mundane Evo big date. What do I think about it? Um, well, I, I think I would consider this a fashion watch, but it's a very well-made fashion watch with a surprising amount of horological punch behind it. That tie-in to the Swiss Railways clock is really what makes this watch special. And it is a great design. I, I, it's very appealing, it's very fun, it's fresh, it's legible. Uh, it makes perfect sense to put this in a watch. And this is the only officially licensed way to get it in a watch. And I feel like that is kind of a large part of the price of this watch. And that brings us all the way back around to the original question, is this watch worth it at that $275 price point? Because let's face it, you're getting a fairly standard quartz watch. It does have a sapphire crystal, but it's only got 30 meters of water resistance. The finishing is nice, it's decent finishing, but certainly you can get better specs at this price point from other watches. And that value question is really one of the big hesitations I had when I was browsing through Mundane site. A lot of their watches, I felt like they really weren't offering you quite enough for what they were asking at their retail prices. And so I was really careful when I chose this specific model. Because unlike a lot of the other watches, this one does have a sapphire crystal. It does also have a fairly nice metal mesh band and it has a large date complication. And those are all features that are a little bit more on the premium end and I think help to justify that $275 price. And, but really where this comes down to is, you know, are you interested in this watch face, this really highly legible, cool, fresh, clean looking watch face? And does that horological tie into the Swiss Railways history and the history of trains, is that something that kind of really gets you going that you really are drawn to? If you like the design and the history, um, there's not a really any other place to go to get this. And I think you would definitely be happy with this watch at that $275 asking price. Now, if you are just purely in it for the specs, if you're looking for a great value, yeah, there's, there's other better values out there. But $275 for a Swiss made watch with a sapphire crystal and with this horological tie-in is not a bad price at all, I don't think. And just from the standpoint of having tested it and worn it for the last couple days, and it's just such an iconic design that is, is so well known and so recognizable, it's just cool to see this on your wrist. Uh, and the watch really does wear well. It is a good watch, and that's something that I really noticed as I was taking it out and wearing it. Um, just the way that it fits around my wrist, I opted for the 40 millimeter version, which really looks great on my seven and a half inch wrist. I think those proportions um, just really look fantastic. So that's gonna wrap it up for the review of the Mondain Evo Big Date. I'll leave a link to them down below. If you're interested in purchasing this watch, you can check it out there. And if you're hesitant at that $275 price point, you might check around other sites like Amazon. Um, they may have it for cheaper there. But that will wrap up this review. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.